Let's sing a song full of hurt, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, never strong. Harry, we're ready for our boat. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, oh, when I'm gone, I'll be right there. It's you for you. Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. First weekly vlog of 2021. I'm very excited to be back and vlogging. Like I've literally missed it so much. I've had like the last couple of weeks off and it's been horrible. Like I literally hate not um, chatting to the camera. I feel like it really is just so therapeutic for me. So I'm glad to be back. Um, just out at the minute, I just went and grabbed myself a coffee because just I just thought it would be quite nice for me to go out and do something nice for myself. Something that I find the little joy in so went and grabbed myself a Starbucks I'm a little bit disappointed today because we've been waiting to try and f um, for two offers to come back for mine and Carrie's London flat and neither of them have got back in contact with us yet I'm literally just like refreshing my emails constantly because I'm like so excited and just want the move to go ahead ASAP um, but yeah we're just at the final stages but nothing's like fully confirmed which is so frustrating because for anything they could just decide to cancel last minute or whatever which is obviously very very scary but holding out hope we've manifested to move in january so it's gonna happen just thought i'd start the weekly vlog out here in the car because i feel like you'll just be seeing a lot of my room and stuff we're obviously in tier four like most of the country at the minute um in northamptonshire so i'm very concerned i'm scared that i'm gonna lose some work that i've got at the end of the week because i'm in london to shoot with a brand it's all like professional like in a studio and stuff it's not like me just swanning off to london at all it's literally all like it's all done properly if you know what i mean like it's in a full studio i'm hosting like a new series and i just really want it to go ahead because it's such a cool opportunity i'm very fucking nervous for it like i'm shitting myself for it but i'm just worried that stuff's gonna get cancelled and yeah i think there's another announcement tonight but we're not going to talk about it on here too much because we want to make a space where people can escape on here i think i think that's what we all need right now and i think that's what i really thought about when i like, edit my vlogs i'm like oh shut up stop talking about corona all the time because we want a place to where we can go to escape and hopefully this vlog can be that for you i I've just had a bit of a meltdown the last couple of weeks thinking that all my content's shit, boring, annoying, um, and all the above. We need to be confident. We need to be confident in what we're creating. We need to be positive in what we're making. And, I mean, if people don't like it, they can just switch off. Do you know what I mean? Like, why am I deeping it so much? So, here we are. Here's 2021. I have lots of fun videos planned, but loads of them do include going to the flat. And being in the flat and to do with the move so as soon as that goes ahead there'll be way more videos lots of homeware hauls lots of flat tours room tours decorating fun fun weekly videos that i've got planned as well so hopefully we'll be in the flat in no time i want you all to crush your fingers and pray every single night that we do anyway i'm just gonna sit here drink my drink then head back home so if you watched my what i got for christmas video you will know that my boyfriend bought me some of the these Fujifilm quick snap cameras and I really want to get disposables printed every single month of this year to capture like cool off the cuff like moments without trying to like perfect photos and stuff I thought it was a really cool idea so I've been taking this around with me even though we've been in tier four um and by out with me I mean literally just in the, the actual camera just died whilst I was filming that but yeah I just wanted to say I thought it was a really cool idea and I'm really hoping that I can keep this up for the whole year so remind me um remind me in these vlogs that i need to take this around with me i'm trying to keep it in my handbag every single day and um, even when i'm like going out to the shops and stuff just to sort of like capture the year and to look back on and i think it'll be really cool for like my scrapbooking and stuff it'll inspire me to keep going every month um i've also got out the new makeup bag that my um godparents got me i love this so much you literally just release the toggle and it has like basically a flat lay of all your makeup put it all together again and it makes it into like a little bag it goes even tighter than this as well which is literally just so perfect so yeah yeah, I'm using all my new Christmas presents, absolutely loving them. And I also wanted to show you guys this because it arrived the other day. Um, Hattie couldn't wait because obviously we can't see each other. We were supposed to be seeing each other to exchange Christmas gifts and we couldn't. But Hattie bought me this beautiful little plaque for my room for Christmas and it's so cute. It's got my Instagram and YouTube handles on there and honestly it just looks so, so cute. I can't wait to take that with us to the flat. So fingers crossed we can still move we're waiting for boris's announcement tonight in the next like half an hour or so 
so I have just had this package from Superdrug because on Thursday we have a yoga event in the morning. It's actually at eight o'clock in the morning. I don't know how I'm going to get up at that time. Like I'm just really not an early riser. So I don't know if that's going to go down well but we've got a lovely little wellness package that includes a little journal a hydrate bo bottle and it's actually got like a little sippy straw thing which i actually don't have like i have reusable cups and mugs and stuff but not one with like a little sippy straw and i feel like it would encourage me to drink more which probably sounds really stupid but um i think it's going to come in very very handy and i think they just sell these normally in super drug and then we've also got some of their immune defense vitamin c tablets and i actually really like these i've already gone through like a couple of tubes before we've got a vitamin e hydrating mist which we've just sprayed and it smells amazing and feels really lovely on the skin and then we've got some cod liver oil capsules here and then finally a really lovely little diffuser um i haven't used my diffuser in absolutely ages and they've also given us some eucalyptus and lavender essential oils here to pop inside but i'm very excited to use this i might actually pop it on thursday morning whilst i'm actually doing the yoga session i feel like that'd be quite cool and i actually have a yoga mat that super drug sent me a while back so i'm gonna get that all out have a proper morning yoga session and hopefully like i'll love it so much i'll get into a routine of waking up either earlier or just putting yoga into my daily routine um because whenever i do it it makes me feel really good I think now I'm going to just sit and run through my emails, do some work. And yeah, it's just, I'm just feeling a bit shit at the minute because my, a lot of like my work got cancelled this week that was really exciting that I've been talking about a little bit. Last night we got put into tier five, as people are calling it, or like basically just official lockdown again. So yeah, lots of my work's been cancelled, which is obviously like stressful financially and stressful from like just like a demotivating sort of point of view because I was like really looking forward to that and I just got really excited for it because it was something so different to anything I've done before it was like a proper hosting series and at least I think it's been postponed rather than cancelled that thing in particular but I've had other work that's been cancelled purely because of everything again which is understandable but obviously just stressful from a personal point of view so yeah i feel like it's been a major knockback and i haven't really vlogged properly since last night with the announcement i just feel like it's been a lot of pressure and stuff and very overwhelming but hopefully we're all good and i can get back into the flow of stuff i'm just finding it really hard to be creative like stuck inside inside again and not just having like new ideas and i just feel like everything's becoming really repetitive because of how the world is at the minute so hopefully i'll get my mojo back i'm currently in my brother's room but i've just sorted through loads of my old clothes that have been on my depot for absolutely ages so as one of my new year's resolutions was to donate monthly we've got a huge black bag full here to take we're just going to quickly go drop it in the clothing bank on the way to go get some ingredients currently just making a tofu vegetable stir fry so this is the tofu co tofu with corn flour and one of the little spice just like a little packet spice and then over here we've got baby corn green beans and we've got bean sprouts as well using these noodles from Lutasia <laughs> this blue dragon chow mein sauce i actually love blue dragon it got me through uni so yeah we're just making some food today has been just very like i've just been feeling so unproductive and unmotivated like i was saying earlier just getting me really down so i'm trying to think of something that i can do maybe tomorrow to make me feel like i've actually done something with my week i feel better now that i went and took like a load of clothes to the like clothes bank thing trying to plan some like collabs and stuff like some virtual collabs to film with carrie I just, just this whole move situation is just really draining. Like, I'm thankful that you can still move with the restrictions and, like, that can still go ahead. So we're just, like, tr trying to speak to the apartment places that we've spoken to to try and figure out the last few steps. I'm very excited for it to all finally be confirmed. Like, I'm just, just need all the good vibes in my life, you know. So hopefully we'll hear back within the next few days and I can update you all. Uh, but yeah, that's literally the only thing that's keeping me going, to be honest, during this whole lockdown thing, because I am just not been coping very well, like with all this new news, and I'm sure a lot of you will probably agree too. It's just a lot, a lot more stuff to think about and stress about, you know. Something else that I wanted to talk about was 
the ha the massive increase in trolling again since we've had to be in our own homes and obviously more people are online and stuff the trolling has just got so so fucking bad like it's actually ridiculous like i have been messaged about hate forums that have so many are oh, just it's just the worst place ever this hate forum and i'm sure by me talking on this we'll probably make more people go on there and chat shit about me like I, I, it, it yeah it's probably gonna cause a lot more shit but i'd rather talk about this and hopefully we can get this these fucking play things websites and forums shut down emily philpot shared in her story a petition that i've signed to get rid of that this particular hate forum that is just full of celebs influencers people in the public eye on there and there's like threads literally slating everyone their families going in on their a personal appearance like it's literally the worst fucking place to be and i got caught up in it the other night and i just got it put in the worst mood like seeing how many evil people there are online and it just really scared me about social media i had a few days off like just thinking about how awful it can be online and it sort of like really occurred to me in the last year what knowing more people are online they're like being there to try and cancel people and like their sole purpose for having an account online is to like shut people down and just be nasty and try and stop people having careers and goals and literally just i don't know it was just made me really upset that there are people out there that do that like how lash out all of their anger and hatred and negativity on innocent people online who are just sharing their lives like je like it's 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 just creepy they know every single detail about these people's lives like more so than people who actually enjoy the content like it's really creepy stalker level yeah i don't know i just got in a really bad place like reading through it all and now i've just realized that i need to block that block that site from my laptop so i can never go on it again and i also i'm gonna urge you to sign the petition that i'm gonna leave in the description because it's just not a good place so I had a few questions about this because I posted it on my Instagram story last week and this is my 2021 diary that I've got from my favourite stationery brand which is Papier. It's an online brand and this is like a forest green colour. It's my favourite colour at the minute. I don't know if you can really see of this light um, but it's a forest green colour and it has like gold foiled croissants on and I just thought it was very me. Got my initials on and I just love how they lay their their planners and stuff out this is a diary in particular but they i've also had planners from them mid-year diaries notebooks just normal notebooks and stuff at the beginning of each month it has like a little grid here where you can drop down like to-do lists monthly goals wish list and your important dates for the month and then it has space here so you can write in day by day like what you need to do and stuff and i just find it super helpful for me to keep me organized and my £10 off code is now working. It wasn't working a couple months ago. Um, but you can grab £10 off any purchase from the website with my code. So I will leave that down below as well. Because I feel like that will be super helpful if any of you are looking to journal this year. Write down your thoughts and feelings. And also just get a bit more organised. It genuinely helps me lead a much happier life. Like knowing what I'm doing exactly every day. Afternoon everyone. It is Wednesday. And I am literally looking very dishevelled. I've got my hair up. I've just had had a lovely shower wash my hair i think i might film like a little transformation tiktok maybe we'll see it's, the days are just drawing in like why is it this dark at like one o'clock is what i'd love to know but anyway yeah today is exciting because we've been literally me and cara have been so impatient all week we're like oh my god can we just get replies from these estate agents from these apartments and stuff that we've been messaging we've literally been like ah oh, we just want to know like when we can move in and we basically would just want a date of when we can move in and we have received two amazing messages today and we are gonna do another virtual flat tour at 2 30 for one of the buildings that we're really really keen on so i'm gonna go make some ramen for lunch i'm making it veggie i've been doing chili chicken ramen but i've decided that i really want to try and get to like veggie by the end of the year um, and just substitute everything out for like corn and meat substitutes and stuff which I don't think will be hard because like I always say, I only really eat chicken. I've just got some of the standard corn, like chicken-esque pieces that are like small. And we've put, um, we've basically just done the exact same recipe as what we usually do um, from the Gusto. I think it's the Gusto recipe. I've just over here, we've got some chopped red onions and spring onions. I've got some bean sprouts here just using the medium noodles like we were using the other day for the stir fry yes yeah, so we just used 
soy and ginger to bake the corn so it's looking very delicious very crispy and nutritious and then over here we've got the broth which has sriracha ginger. garlic ginger chili flakes um and then like just like a standard stock cube and then over here is where we're going to do the noodles because they're the last port of call and i'm starving voila it looks very hearty guys i am so nervous i'm literally just waiting for a phone call for my viewing with one of the apartment places and i literally i'm just so nervous because it's my favorite one and i just want it to go really well and i want me and carrie to be like buzzing about it and it's just just a scary time you know okay so we've just had a text saying that the woman who is showing us around virtually is on her way to the flat and that she's going to ring us as soon as possible i won't lie i don't really like it okay but the first bedroom is so nice compared to, i wish they could just make them more even like mm. But it's optimistic, and the first one was really, really nice. And I did like the second one, it was more the, the outside of it that was the problem, if you know what I mean. Yeah. We need to think of good questions to ask. And there we go. So we've just finished that really intense 40 minute flat viewing and it went really well. We saw three separate apartments in the building and they were all like slightly different. Um, so me, me and Carrie are probably just going to FaceTime now and discuss the options and like what we want to do. So yeah, exciting. It is Thursday morning, as you can see. I'm looking deceased. It is quarter to eight. Got the yoga mat out and I'm about to do a yoga event with Superdrug. I'm glad because it's got me up nice and early, but at the minute I do feel dead, so I'm hoping this will like energise me and make me feel good for the day. I also painted my nails red last night, a bit of a rogue movement because I don't really go for like this sort of colour on my nails, but I quite like it. I just feel like I look very pale, maybe I need to tan do a bit of a fake tanning or something. I'm just going to log into the Zoom Zoom call now, do a bit of yoga. I'm wearing this like fluffy pajama top because I'm actually just so cold at the minute. I think it's like minus two or something outside. So I'm gonna wear this until I warm up a bit during the yoga. So excuse the attire. I'm not in my usual like yoga outfit because it's freezing. Gonna just do yoga in joggers and a fluffy jumper. Welcome to our first yoga nuri event. my snuggly little pajama top so fluffy it's actually got so much use out of it already i got it for christmas from aiden's mum and honestly it's just so crazy mm, it's had a very weird message that yoga was absolutely incredible this morning like i thoroughly enjoyed myself and then went on a little frosty walk for my daily exercise outside it was really nice actually even though it was like freezing like it was just nice to get out grabbed a coffee on the walk it's so weird that it's like not even midday yet like because i've just been getting up really late and the nights have been drawing in really early and i just feel like i haven't had enough daylight hours so it has been really nice that i was like forced to get up like i wish i had something to get up for early every day because I clearly don't have the willpower to do it myself. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you a couple of things that have arrived. So we've got a little package here from Bow Avenue. We love some sexy underwear to make ourselves feel good, especially in the new year. So I've got this gorgeous set here, navy. I'm a massive fan of this. Got a gorgeous lacy navy bra, very pretty. Um, I love the detail and then we've also got the thong to match This one looks like we've got January's glossy box, which is pamper themed daily reusable cotton pads Which I always use so it's always nice to have some extra ones of these Then we've also got the st. Lux brow gel. I've actually just run out of my model co brow gel So I'm really happy that I've got this new one from st. Lux um, then I've also got some of the E cooking moisturizing serum. I use the vitamin C one, which should be, oh, it's here. I literally have been using this every day at the minute, which is the vitamin C serum. So this is just their moisturizing serum. So I'm excited to see the difference between these two. 
cool brand that I've discovered in the last year. And uh, then they've also sent over a hand sanitizer gel, which is obviously very handy with the current climate. We've got a Beauty Pro avocado infused sheet mask. We love a good sheet mask. And then finally, this product from Mud Masky, which is their serum infused eye mask that reduces dark circles, puffy eyes, fine wrinkles, dry skin, and swelling, which is something I need. Like I feel like my eyes need just some TLC recently. They've just been late nights, puffiness, just a lot of stress going on. So I'm definitely gonna get my use out of this. And I actually use the Mud Masky hair mask very frequently and I really love it. So I'm excited to see if their skincare is as good as their hair care. I had the little cutest delivery. Alexa and Abby sent me a cute gift with the cutest little message on this card. Like honestly, they are the cutest humans ever. And they sent me a little gift from the Blurt Foundation. And Alexa was just telling me it's a charity that do lots of products and gifts that are mental health related and do like a lot of work with mental health awareness and um, things like that. And she said it's really helped her. So I'm very excited to try these. And it's li literally little scratch cards here that say scratch these when you're in need of comfort. And they knew that I had like a really rough end to 2020. I know a lot of people did as well, but I did briefly speak about it in my Christmas Get Ready With Me. I sort of opened up about like what happened and yeah, a little bit more in my personal life in that video. So if you want to go check it out, go watch it. Like it's not me just talking about makeup and stuff. It's actually like me to, like with a bit of a life update and like what sort of was going on at the end of the year. Um, and why Christmas was a bit shit for me. That's just such a thoughtful gift and I definitely will be needing this a lot because I'm always in need of comfort these days um, and I think feel like a lot of us are too. So yeah, definitely go check out the Blurt Foundation if you're in need at the minute because it is just such a weird, strange time and I feel like the lockdown was enforced earlier this week and I feel like these days are just dragging now. I don't want my days to be dragging. I want to be like filling my days with good things and shit that I want to do, you know? So I do need to find that again and feel more inspired. So yeah, I feel like I just don't have any creative energy at the minute. I don't know if it's because I'm just feeling like angry and sad at the world or if it's just like one of those moments like where I'm in like a new year's slump. Is anyone else feeling like this? I fucking hope so because I feel just like a big uncreative mess, especially when my job is to like create like cool stuff online um, and I have no, no, just no, no buzz or no energy. So it's really frustrating me because as you guys know, I love like doing bits and keeping myself like working and being productive and editing and filming constantly. And I'm just in a rut where I like have nothing, like nothing is working in my brain. So yeah. I'm hoping I get some energy soon. I've been trying to like do some journaling, which is what we did this morning with Superdrug. And that's like helping me get out some ideas. And I think cause I'm just so focused on this move that all of my content is like moving flat house related. And I can't do any of that until I get there. So yeah, I hope you can be patient with me. I hope these, this weekly vlog isn't boring. Like the, the good vlogs are coming. Yeah, if there's anything else you want to see in the meantime, feel free to comment. I do hate it when... I Well, not hate it. That's a very strong word. But I do dislike it when, pe like, people online are like, what do you want me to film? Because I want to be f shooting and filming stuff that I like too. And at the minute, I don't know what I like. So, yeah. But if there are any suggestions and I feel like they would fit nicely with my channel and I feel like I would enjoy filming them, then I will be filming them. Um, I did put on my Instagram about doing a scrapbooking series. I've got some prints arriving later on this week. So maybe I could start with some of those. But yeah, let me know. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. And yeah. I've got, actually, I have got one thing in lined up. Me and Carrie are do, filming some more virtual collabs tomorrow. So that should be something to look forward to. Just about to get my scrapbooking stuff down and have like a nice little scrapbooking evening. Might even film it. I just wanted to give a massive shout out to Shannon. Her name is made by Shannon Rose on Instagram and she does loads of amazing personalized gifts and digital drawings. Look how incredible these are. So this top one is from my 21st birthday and then this is from my last day in Lincoln and my friend Dick's outfit and oh my god like look how cute these are these are actually insane so if you're looking for a cute personalized drawing for someone's like birthday or an occasion or something definitely go check out made by Shannon Rose and Shannon said she actually watches my YouTube videos so thank you very much for watching it just freaks me out that like people want to spend their time like drawing me like I just feel so irrelevant and like just like a little random girl on the side of the street so it just like really confuses me when people draw me but I'm so grateful and like appreciative of it. I think I'm gonna grab my scrapbooking stuff down it's all in these two boxes up here 
It's where I keep all my stuff, just these two boxes. So I'm going to grab them, put them on my bed, set up my ring light, I think. And then, yeah, maybe do a little bit of film it. So for today's little pamper evening, we're using the new Mud Masky eye mask from the Glossy Box. And we're using one of my all-time favourite face masks, which is the Kiehl's Turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask which i love a lot um it's actually quite like a big pot as well like it lasts so so long it is a little bit more pricey hopefully this will sort my skin out it's been a bit like rough the last few days so lovely hello my loves it is friday afternoon going through doing some boring work stuff this morning but now I'm off to do some fun work stuff, which is filming. I'm actually going to be filming in my conservatory through here. We've got a big parcel from I Saw It First, which we are going to go through. I'm going to have my first impressions on camera. They let me pick up some bits yesterday, and they've already arrived today. So I'm going to see if they're any good. I picked out loads of like good, basic, versatile pieces that I feel like you could style with so many different ways. I feel like that's what I am bringing into 2021 just getting clothes and picking out clothes and only getting things that I think I'll be able to wear multiple different ways so I can get like a really good use out of it and so I can show you guys some really good versatile pieces that are affordable. We're going to get on to filming that video. The I saw it first parcel arrived this morning and also we've got this little package here from Benefit. They've come out with their first ever setting spray which I'm so excited about. It's called their Professional Super Setter. So they've sent me over a really cool <laughs> Benefit mask and then we've got the Professional, which is my favourite ever primer and they've sent their new Super Setter. So I'm going to let you guys know how I get on with this because I've watched their I've watched the video that they've created. They sent me like a little memory stick that I popped into my laptop this morning. Um, it's actually quite cute. They've like really gone all out, made like an actual personalised USB. And I watched the video of them talking all about it and how they created it and how like formulated the product so that it lasts really long. So I'm very excited to see if it works because I'm in need of a new setting spray that's good. Um, and I'll let you know if it's good as my favourite, which is Urban Decay All Nighter. Get on to filming. I'm feeling really good now. I said that I was in a bit of a rut earlier on this week. I filmed my little scrapbooking vid last night, which went really well, and now we're going to film my fashion vid, and maybe even a reel, you know? Who knows? <laughs> Sneak peek of the haul. I've just finished filming the try-on clips, and this is the last item. We've got a nice little satin pyjama outfit, which I actually really love. I kind of want to stay in it. So the haul should be up after you see this, maybe in the next week, so look out for it. So I feel like this week I have filmed a couple of my, my veggie meals that I've had and I want it to become like more of a regular thing because I want to like transition more and have more veggie meals and stuff so earlier on this week I think we cooked corn ramen, tofu like noodles like spice noodles and then today we're going to make like our own rice bowls and we're using those like blue dragon say hello Dave Okay, we're using this blue dragon kit that I got in my degusta box. But instead of obviously chicken, we're going to be using tofu, which got in here. Just built the teriyaki sauce everywhere, so I'm glad I've got like an, a spare <laughs> little one of these kits. So we're going to use that, the like sauce, sesame seeds, and the marinade from this. And then I think we're going to put like cucumber on the top. I'm not sure what else we're going to do yet. We're going to figure it out. And then we're lazy and got some like Uncle Ben's rice rather than making it our own because we couldn't be bothered but ideally like i like jasmine rice with this sort of like meal and the smell is just reminding me of my favorite mommy dish one of my favorite restaurants in london it's in clapham area and me and aiden went oh wow yummy i know, I'm, <laughs> um, sorry. I'm sorry but a lot in london and oh the bowl that i have in there is just so good hello, hello. Look how good these look. Oh, they look so delicious. So we're gonna go go indulge. No. Is it loud? Yes. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Hello everyone. So it is Saturday and I have just finished filming a video with Ellie. We filmed a like trends to leave in 2020 video. I'm very excited for you guys to see. We just reacted to lots of like fashion trends, stuff. 
that happened in 2020 that we want to leave behind there's actually quite a few deep ones in there as well yeah definitely go check that out i think that should be up in the next couple of days when you're seeing this so yeah i feel like i've got my mojo back towards the end of this week which i was really hoping would happen because i was very worried that i would never get a single idea again so here we are but i'm gonna carry on filming now that i've got like my makeup and everything done i feel like why not i'm gonna film a nasty girl haul because my nasty girl order for january has arrived it's just down there and i picked out some really amazing versatile pieces from them too and then i also need to film some content for lounge underwear that should be up on their stories i feel like next week or something but yes they basically want me to send over some stories so i'm gonna get on to filming that i would show some behind the scenes but i actually need my camera to film both those I also need to put up my missing prints because two of them have fell down, like two of the nails fell out of the wall. Uh, I'm having to film in my conservatory until I can put those back up because I can't physically move my bed without someone helping me. It's so heavy because I've got so much shit stored like in the drawers under my bed. <laughs> So just finished filming my nasty gal haul um this is super cute it's from a little like co-ords app got my gal megan short playing i love her so much just wrapping up i'm literally so tired i'm gonna go like just sort my room out and have a chill evening and yeah thanks very much for watching the first weekly vlog of 2021 it's been a really long one i feel so yeah hopefully next week we can get more sorted with the flat i have final confirmation love you guys thank you for all of your supportive messages and stuff from my christmas get ready with me video thanks for watching hit the thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video on tuesday bye guys mm -hmm.